YouTube, what is good? Yo, you've been following the channel. Getting up early in the morning is like my kryptonite. I cannot do it, but today I managed to get out of bed 45 minutes earlier than I normally do, which I know a lot of you guys are like, that's, that's not anything to be proud of, but trust me, for me, it is. So here's why I'm up early today. I wanted to get out for a proper morning of street photography. I wanna utilize some of that good morning light. I wanna look for some cool shadows, take advantage of the shadows of the morning. Today we are gonna be shooting with the always great Fuji X100F. It's been a little while since this made an appearance on the vlog. So I'm excited to take it out to shoot. Real quick though, before we head out, I gotta finish ordering some new prints for the site. Got some dope stuff in the works. I'm keeping up with all my New Year's goals. That site is gonna be updated constantly. Some new prints coming, as well as the first pieces of merch. That's gonna be coming much sooner than you expect. So really excited about that. I'm gonna finish ordering this, and then we're out of here. Yo, so I'm about to show you one of my favorite things with this X100. Pay attention. This is very important. Ready? Hoodie pocket. X100. Yo, DSLRs and big cameras are cool, but when you can fit your camera in a hoodie, there ain't much better. Let's stop wasting time. GoPro mode, here we go. Let's shoot. Lighting is really harsh right here, but I like this like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a photo of that guy. I'm gonna try to frame it where he's just under that and we got all this. do there's somebody standing in the middle of these pillars right here I'm gonna try to come up here and get a shot of them that way hell yes yes we're hyped about that shot absolutely perfect we got all those lines and then the way he was standing in the perfect spot with his shadow just hitting right on that pillar money too easy we've only been out here what 10 minutes I already got my one photo of the day, but we're gonna keep shooting. I'm actually gonna post up there for a little bit longer and see if I can get anything else from this location because I really like the lighting and I like the way it's set up. something with this I've never tried before. The X100F has a built-in ND filter, which is badass. Shout out to Fuji for that. But I'm gonna set this up on a tripod and I'm gonna try to do a long exposure through this hole in the fence. And my goal is with the ND filter, none of the cars will show up. It'll have like a real desolate feel to it. Or at least that's what I'm hoping in my head. Ended up kind of being a fail. The ND filter on this camera is cool, but it wasn't strong enough to get the effect I was going for, which was like the exposure so long that you can't see the cars anymore. So I'll have to go back and try that shot another day with a stronger ND filter. I want to shoot more, but your boy's gotta get a snack. And then I'm gonna decide, you know, like, 
it's rare that I get a photo I like so much literally within the first five minutes of us being out to shoot. So I got some decisions to make. Do I want to just call it a day or do I want to keep pushing forward on this? Lunch is complete, did a little bit of editing in there. Advice to y'all, one thing that I like to do, I like to start editing, you know, kind of get the photos to a place where I sort of like them, then put my laptop down for a while and then come back to them later. Sometimes I'm like, all right, this still looks good, but a lot of the time I'm like, what was I thinking this looks terrible and I can kind of get fresh eyes on it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna head home and uh, I'm gonna head home, work on them a little more. I think today was a success. city a lot which is not necessarily a bad thing but it's not necessarily what I always want to be doing lately I've been so busy with other shoots that I have not had a chance to get out to nature which is pretty unfortunate the city is a lot closer to me than driving out to North Georgia is but luckily I'll be headed to the Smoky Mountains this weekend really excited for that that vlog should be great speaking of photo shoots that have kept me busy check out this photo set I made yesterday it's for the Converse Tyler the Creator release I shot these for Epitome ATL they came out pretty cool so check them out here But now I'm going to head to the gym. I'm gonna bring you guys along. Now I completely understand if uh, my workout is not what you come to these vlogs for, I get it. So if you don't care, you wanna to get to the end of the video where we talk about the photos we made, I show you my favorite ones, talk about the edit, skip to this number right here. Actually, fuck that. I went to the gym, but I'm not gonna include it in the video because this is a channel about photography. So I just finished the final edits on today's photo. And you know what? I got two photos that I like. Normally I only leave with one, but today we got two. Let me show you them right now. So it's really rare in these videos that I start the day with an idea, kind of a direction I wanna go in, and I actually stick with that direction and it works out. But today, it worked out perfect. My goal was to look for some shadows to use that morning light and that is exactly what happened. So here's what I really like about this first photo. It's kind of minimal and it's kind of not. It utilizes these nice lines that are kind of leading and I did the black and white edit because in my head when I was looking at this photo it seemed like it was fading off and I really liked how that shadow on the wall is a silhouette but you can't really see the person making the shadow. It's almost like a mystery because he's hidden in another shadow and then that leads into the darkness and when I edited the photo, I kind of enhanced that feel, that mood. Now the second photo is of the same person taken from the opposite vantage point. We're on the opposite side and I like this photo for the exact same reasons. It just works. We got this silhouette of a person. We got these pillars that kind of create a leading line into them. I don't know, when you look at this photo, you would never think that it was downtown Atlanta. What's interesting is this photo, I did a color edit and the first one I did a black and white edit, but when I flipped the two and tried to edit the first one in color and the second one in black and white, I didn't like them as much. I don't exactly know why, it's not like I analyzed it, I was just basing it off how it looks. I like that first one as a black and white, the second one in color. Those are my two favorite photos of the day. You know, I'm really collecting a lot of images on this channel and my typical style is like what you see on Instagram, a lot of color, a lot of contrast, but, but I do like making photos like this as well and the more I progress with this channel, the more this kind of collection of black and white images is growing slowly. So who knows, maybe uh, one day I'll have enough photos to put together a collection or like a small gallery or something. But that is it for today's video. I appreciate you guys coming out to shoot with me. Hit that thumbs up, drop a comment if you have the X100F. If you're going out to do some street photos, let me know what your plans are for the week with your photography. I hope all you guys are gonna get out to shoot at least once. There'll be another video tomorrow and actually it is snowing outside. It's, it's snowing for Georgia, so it's like little flurries, but who knows, we could have a snow video coming up too, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe for more photography videos. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. <music>